Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hope you're all doing well and welcome back to a brand new video. Today is currently Sunday, so I thought we could do a bit of like a Sunday day in the life, Sunday routine, and you guys could see what we typically get up to on a Sunday. So if you are excited to spend the day with us, then please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. Now typically Sundays for us are quite chill, they're quite relaxed. Sunday is of course the day of rest, so we usually tend to try and get out, go for a nice walk. Sometimes we'll go for breakfast, sometimes we'll make a nice breakfast, sometimes we go for lunch we just kind of see where the day takes us um today i'm up i am ready what time are we on it's nine o'clock and i'm actually gonna go downstairs and make me and tom a full english breakfast i honestly in fact i was gonna say i can't remember the last time i had a full english breakfast but it was definitely in london you know we went to that cute little place in covent gardens which that full english breakfast was stunning i've got a lot to live up to with that um but i can't remember the last time i actually cooked a full English breakfast but we're really feeling it today so I'm gonna go make us that now the weather today is near enough perfect the sun isn't out which would make it tip top perfect but it's not raining which is a plus it looks chilly enough to put your coat on which I love and can I actually just say as well the weather the temperatures just dropped hasn't it which I'm all here for because it means autumn is officially here it's like one day it was sunny you were warm wearing like a shirt or a jumper and then the next day the temperatures dropped you need your hat gloves scarf thick coat and I'm all here for it because as you guys know autumn is my favorite time of the year and it's officially here so happy autumn everybody but yeah like I said I'm gonna go make us a full English breakfast and then we'll probably head out for a walk because I really like on a Sunday to get out and go for a walk and I actually feel weird if I don't like actually sets me up for the week if i haven't been out for a walk on a sunday then i feel weird especially on the monday i feel really strange that i've not been for a walk so i'm happy that it's not raining because that's the only thing isn't it when it gets to this time of year like for me the perfect weather is when it's cold but sunny then we've got higher chances of rain haven't we which means you can't really go out for a walk so i'm grateful today that it's not raining so on the breakfast menu today we have got large flat mushrooms which tommy doesn't like so i'll just have one of those um, we've got some sausages, of course. We have got some eggs, beans, tomato, bacon. And then I've also got some hash browns in the freezer, which I'm going to get out because hash brown is probably actually my favourite thing about a fry up. Let me know in the comments down below. What's your, if you had to pick, let's say two things on a full English breakfast that you must have, your two favourite things, what would they be? I think mine would be a hash brown. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if it'd be sausage or mushroom because I really, really love mushrooms. Actually, I don't know if I showed you these as well. We've got some plum tomatoes. So yeah, we've got sausages, bacon, mushrooms, eggs, beans, tomatoes, and hash browns. And I'm so ready for it. There's nothing beats a full English, does it? I feel like it's the elite breakfast. Like I feel, is it my favourite breakfast? I don't know because I do love a pan of chocolate the beyond par pan of chocolate and full english i absolutely love them both oh my god honestly i'm so looking forward to eating this and also look at these cute little mugs that i got from b&m how nice are they whoa jesus that's a straight 10 out of 10. if i went and paid for that i'd be on the moon with that really yeah morning everybody <laughs> yeah i was gonna say you've not even said morning <laughs> today morning chaps um, it does look good if i do say so that myself. looks unreal else Scrambled egg, bacon, tomatoes, beans, sausages, hash brown toast, and a coffee and a tea for me. That looks so good. It actually does. Like but the presentation on your full English. Like, really? Look at these. If I put them on the plate, they just come everywhere, don't they? 
But do you know what? I'm a bit annoyed at myself because I accidentally bought smoked bacon and you know what I'm like with smoked bacon. Uh, I could I like smell it and I was bacon. like, oh. I'm a fan of smoked but bacon, yeah. so I don't mind that. So, after breakfast, I was stuffed. Yeah, do you know what, same. Like, honestly, I'm not even just saying this, because Elle's cooked no, made No, I it. was, I am. Yeah, I am, actually. That is very true. I'm still stuffed. I don't think I'll eat out till tea. No, I me mean, neither. And no snacks are out, because that was just whew, nice, beautiful. Nice, Yeah, and I'm, I'm going back, I'm not just saying this because it was Elle's. That was amazing that was a straight 9.8 out of 10. i feel like it's definitely set us up for the day oh what a start to the day anyway we're moving on from breakfast because We've no one needs to know that much about breakfast <laughs> <laughs> um so we have come for a walk we are on an old um railway train track. track yeah we're on an old railway track that leads to no idea where the views are unreal at one side you've got the cliff top and the beach the other side you've just got fields for days I mean, you that was a really terrible see. example right now because you can't see nothing barring just this old track. These are our like favourite types of walks for a Sunday, just at one with nature where you've got cows at one side for else to talk to <laughs> and just... Do you know what though, just, I'm not being funny but just a walk in general on a Sunday, like it doesn't even have, to, like majority of the time it is something like this isn't mm. it? Oh 100%. But, I just like going on a walk on a Sunday, Fresh I was air. saying earlier on like last weekend, we actually went out for the day with our friends for the birthday, like drinking. And we wrote us off, didn't it? <laughs> completely it, it, wrote us off. It completely wrote us weekend. off for two days. But like and I it say, was a bank holiday weekend, by the way. Yeah, but like I say, usually, um, we always go for a walk on a Sunday. But because we didn't last weekend, I felt so off. Yeah. For the full week, it felt so, so weird. So It felt like we'd missed out. Like, yeah, it on. Just, it just felt weird. Like, I just felt like I had been out with fresh air and like stretched my legs and stuff. So this is a must for us. I just said to Tom, we need to somewhere find a conker tree. When do conkers start to come alive? It is about Ooh. this time of year, isn't it? Because well, if they start, they'll probably start like early September right. forming and you'll see like the spiking. So we're probably, we're at peak. We're nearly, we're like beginning yeah, of October. Yeah, beginning of October much. will be like peak. Right. Um, conquering for conquer Right, spikes. conquer season. Yeah, October, I'd say beginning of October will be. Which peak. is literally in five days so i think we're in we're good timing but anyways i said to tom we need to find a conquer tree because i don't you guys probably know this this is probably me that was very late to the party but this time last year who was it that told was it you that My told me, told me yeah. was it granny yeah. right so tommy's granny said to me you do know conkers keep spiders away right this is an old wife's tale by the way no, no it's true this is not a proven no because fact. i've done an experiment oh here we go and i can prove that there it's a go. true proven fact is it yeah but well, gran well you can even vouch for me tom anyways we'll get into well. that part so granny said con i'm sure she said conkers keep the spiders away is it because of the scent? Yeah, yeah Thanks. Um, yeah, it's the scent that conkers give off in your house. The spiders don't like it, apparently. Yeah, and it's obviously the scent we can't, like, to us, conker smells of nothing. Wow. It's a little bit like, I'm sure you can get plugins or something. I heard someone say... Yeah, you, maybe. I don't know, but anyway, so apparently, Tommy's granny said, conkers keep spiders away. So last year, we got a load of conkers, didn't we? You were like, Ellie, you being stupid, did I was like, I'm not having just conkers, just scattered around my entire house. Well, yeah, and I get that, I do get that, but I put a conker on every windowsill. Well, one windowsill in every room, so yeah, every windowsill in the house. And I put it in the corner, you know, like behind the curtain, so you couldn't see it. Like, if you walked into our house, you would not even know there was like, a conker I go there. into a lot of houses through my job at work, and there'll be, like, a lot of old elderly people do this. Like, it's... It's it, a proper it, it old, an old wives tale. tale. Yeah. But they'll just have, like, conkers, like, four conkers on every step going up. Oh, really? Up the stairs? Oh, yeah, they have them everywhere. They have them, like, on kitchen worktops. And I was like, that is not happening in my house. Like, I don't... Well, what did you get... envision me doing? Putting it on every step on I the I envisioned staircase? you having, like, like, yeah. No. Hans and Gretel, like, a little <laughs> path all the way through my house. Yeah, and I get why you wouldn't no. want that, and I wouldn't want that either. But like I said, I put it on literally in the corner of our windowsill, in every room, behind the curtain. You can't see it. And you can't see it, can you? No, you can't, no. Can't see them at all. And I kid you not, since I put them out last year, 
like for that season we didn't get any spiders whatsoever we didn't do you recall having a spider because <laughs> i do and i hate spiders right we didn't get a single spider and we've only just started getting spiders and i know it is, is it spider season now it will be yeah yeah but that's obviously because the conkers will have probably lost the scent line i would say for a year <laughs> Conkers can't last forever, surely. No, they can't, but the, the, the And they're thing, a year old. I don't know enough about spider season to know that maybe when the conkers come out, like winter, is no, that the end of spider season? Autumn. Yeah, but going into winter, is that just the end of spider season? It's just a coincidence that conkers. Well, keep no, them out. because it's spider season literally right now, and it's this time last year we got the conkers. Well, we'll see once we. So, anyway, we're going to go get some conkers because I think mine have expired <laughs> conkers have expired and it would have been in there a year so i think they're not doing their job now so we need to go find some more and then i can put them in and then hopefully the spiders will go so yeah try that if you do get spiders because a lot of people will at this time of year put some conkers just put it in places you can't even see it like maybe like in a vase or whatever and i kid you not it works because like i say we've experimented we've we've tried it out conker picking is about to commence tommy's got his stick we are sticked up. We've just found this here, but Tom said it has to be the right, what was it? What, we're talking about my stick now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be the right weight, the right like, length. It just had to be a good throwing stick to get up on the top of the <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, guys, if you wanted to see Autumn in a picture, like, look how stunning this is. And these are all conker trees. All of them are conker trees, absolutely gorgeous i said to tommy like it makes my heart happy seeing all the trees with like um brown leaves on and all the leaves on the floor and there was like um loads of ducks back there wasn't there it's just really oh, yeah. just it's hen. like a scenic place. Oh, there was just a hen over there there was loads actually when we drove this is exactly what i like to see and hear like is this not just the sound of autumn just the sound of crunching leaves like look at all the leaves like this makes my heart happy yeah literally it's absolutely stunning anyways let's go find the perfect conquer tree can i just say tom you know like all the people with the families you just drove past and walked past yeah. i bet they're thinking what are these two doing here conquer picking yeah. <laughs> two adults hi just two adults yeah, come for conk some conkers just look spiders <laughs> <laughs> just look at that for a conch tree by the way i don't really think they'll be able to see well you can see a few oh, like you can see one there and all the open space just to throw. and you can tell that like, everyone's been doing it look oh, yeah. or they've just fallen they're who knows right go on let's get a few this time <gasps> what? oh that was a really good, good one, one. That, that was so good right i've got this one. Oh, that's a big one is that isn't it Easy. right are we ready Ooh. Oh, it double jumped. Oh, there was two in there. Oh, double conquer. Now we've got, we had, I think we actually had two, didn't we? So now we've got four. I've got two. Oh, nice. I'm going to put them in this, this pocket. The more, the better. I'm going to go for like a big one right to the top, so go careful. So you are quite, you like walk underneath a stick. Okay, go for it. Oh, big one there. <laughs> Great. <laughs> That was just what we wanted. We've also got some friends watching us. Some hens. Oh, yeah. cute. I don't really think that's going to oh, get rid great. of a spider. That's not the perfect one. Do you know what I mean? It's got to be... I'm looking for like this kind of size. But Tom just said he didn't know if they're ready because some of them have got white on. But Did I mean, just... that one doesn't. Should they be all this colour? Uh, no, that that's, that's right. That's oh. what it should look like. That's got three in it. Oh, oh wow oh my god Three who knew conkers. two 26 year olds could get so excited no one 26 year old no i don't want that one sorry it's a bit it's a bit small oh, right small. come on let's have some more oh did you not get any more down because i'm yeah, sure the oh there's one there my chip my stick oh <laughs> Oh no! Oh no, you gutted. I'm really upset. How, what are you going to do about that now? Tommy was literally just saying how that's the best conker picking stick he's ever found, and actually he was going to keep it. 
was. And now he's lost it in the tree. So we've now I lost. I going to keep it till next year, but. It was. I don't think we're getting that back somehow. Oh yeah, 100% getting that back. I just need to get hold of that branch. Let us know in the, oh! Well done. I was just about to say, let us know in the comments, do you think Tommy's gonna get it or not? Well, but it's all right, we've got it back. Got it. Here we go. So Hang on. Past, like, what are them two? I just wanna, I'm gonna just take a few steps back, Els. Why? Hmm. Do you not trust me? Uh, if I'm honest, I don't think you're gonna reach. I'd go underarm, it's easier, but you get out the way, because... What happened there? <laughs> that literally just went... Meow. <laughs> that, yeah? Yeah, no, that was good. Let's, let, let's do a take two. How cute will this be, Tom, when we have kids in the future? This will be unreal when we have kids. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all the things we do as adults that maybe looks a bit strange, you know, everyone else out here with the full families, we're just, you know, here we go. Oh, we've got a diff... Well, at least you hit the tree. You did hit the tree, which is, you're getting better. Oh, oh, that was so close. There was one just bouncing around just there. Fourth time looking, maybe. No, that, that was awful. That was not going to lie. That was terrible. We're now we're now on fifth time, lucky. This could go on for a while. This could be a long section of the vlog. Um, it's oh, it, my heart sunk then. I thought that was coming down to hit you back on the head. Can you just imagine? Next clip. I'm driving to hospital. <laughs> six six. Ah, oh, oh, do you know what? Take seven. <laughs> Take seven. Oh, <laughs> you're getting worse. You're getting tired. Take eight. <laughs> oh, we're struggling at this. Take nine. A few conkers just fell over here. But... Okay. Take nine. Go on. Give it your biggest throw, Els. Oh, I so thought that was it. I really thought that was it. One more and then on our 10th throw, if we don't get it, we're, we're just calling it quits, yeah? If we don't get it, we'll practice for next year. Okay. Take 10. Oh, go, do the underarmness. Yes! <laughs> I was actually really proud of that, Els. You need to treasure that conquer. That was yours. so many i've actually just put them in this little uh, glass jar for now because i still haven't got any sweets to put in here i need to fill it with all the halloween goodies but look how many we got like we have more than enough we don't have that many windows in our house at least we've got a stock up and um, literally we got so many but i'm happy because like i said it's gonna keep spiders away um but i just wanted to show you an order that i have received from cherries now some of you have probably heard of cherries before but i'm very very excited to this part of the video is very kindly in collaboration with cherries they very kindly reached out and gifted us all of the items that i'm going to show you and um, but for those of you that haven't heard of cherries before cherries are basically an online store where you can go on and literally buy all of your everyday essentials they sell everything from cleaning products to food to snacky bits to homeware they also sell like branded goods they have all seasonal things so like at this time of year they'll have halloween stuff in and um, around christmas they'll have some christmas stuff 
last Christmas, in fact it wasn't last Christmas, the Christmas before, I got a little nutcracker from Cherries at Christmas and it was absolutely gorgeous. So they have all the seasonal bits in there as well. Um, laundry bits, literally, you name it, they have it. Home organisation, you know, like little storage containers and things. They literally sell so much and what I personally absolutely love about Cherries as well is when I go to places like B&M and everywhere like that, which I absolutely love, I always end up coming out with so many and carrying all the bags and things home is an absolute nightmare and what I love about cherries is it gets delivered straight to your door so it's just so simple so easy so I thought I could show you what I picked up and they have also very very kindly given us a discount code for all of you guys to use and the discount code is Tom and L25 I'll pop it on screen here um, and I'll also pop all the details in the description down below um, but you can get 25% off your first orders when you spend £20 or over but go on check it out they literally sell so much like literally everything you'll ever need so let's show you what i picked up okay so i've actually got the box i showed you and then there's also another large box on the floor here so i've got two boxes to show and um, so first thing that i got was just some cleaning products some like laundry bits i picked up one of these extra large lenore spring awakening fabric conditioners we've actually run out so i desperately needed some of that um, and then i've also picked up this to try it's the pink stuff again i think it's a, is it a fabric conditioner oh it's a bio liquid um, and it says removes tough stains first time so i thought i'd give that a go because i'm a massive fan of the pink stuff like i absolutely love the paste i feel like it gets everything off so i'm thinking this will be really really good for stains so i'm really excited to try that out i then picked up some non-stick baking paper just because we haven't had any of that in a while and tis the season to bake all of the time i picked up some garnier body lotion i absolutely love this stuff and i've not had it in the longest time got it in the scent sheer butter and it says it's for very dry skin um, but I just needed some new moisturiser. Then picked up some Glade Shake and Vac in the shade, in the shade, in the scent Magnolia and Vanilla. Hi. Hi. I'm just passing through. Passing by. Um, I then picked up some Domestos, 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 I'm not really sure how you're going to say that. Um, but this is a zero lime scale toilet cleaner. Picked that up picked up this because i literally used to always use this and it is such a good product i feel like it's one of those products that's really really underrated so it's the dove moisturizer but it's the gradual tan i always get it in the shade medium to dark and it's basically just a moisturizer with tan in it so i think this is really good especially if you don't really like to fake tan or maybe you don't want to fake tan too often this is nice just to put on every single day maybe every night before you go to bed and it builds up to be a really really nice tan like i said i used to always use this and i've not used it in the longest time and i'm definitely in need of it i literally look like cast for the burst at the minute i then picked up a couple of these just purely because i've never tried them before and i thought if it's good i know that i'll want another um but this is the elbow grease stain remover bar it looks to be like a bar of soap and it just says you rub directly on the stain and then obviously wash it after. So I'm excited to try both of those. I then picked up a couple of beauty bits. I've got some tea tree deep cleansing nose pore strips. Again, I used to love these and I haven't used them in so long. And it says instantly lifts out dirt, oil and grease. I like the sound of that. Um, and then I also picked up some charcoal eye gel patches and it says enrich with vitamin C, which we love to hear. I got one of these which I've never ever heard of before but I'm a massive fan of the brand Fabulosa so this is in the scent Electrify of course because it's the best Fabulosa scent um, and it says it is a foam it's like um, a foam that you put down your sink or your drain or your plug hole or anything like that and it's meant to freshen it and sanitise it so I'm excited to give that a go what's this? this is another thing I love like anything that could get destroyed oh they wrap it up really really safely so it doesn't get damaged oh so this is just a non-silicone wood silk um polish I'm looking for the word then um so i got one of those so that's the first box and then in the second box what did we get in here i'm actually excited for this because i genuinely cannot remember what i ordered so it's a nice surprise for me as well opening this box okie dokie so next up i got some lenore tumble dry sheets again in the scent spring awakening because that's my all-time favorite lenore scent wow they smell so good 
I could smell it when I did that. Now, we don't actually own a tumble dryer. We used to have one and it broke. We just didn't really tend to use it, so we didn't get another one. But I've got these to stuff down my cushions, you know, like in your cushion covers, because apparently everyone says that makes it smell really nice when you sit down. So that's what I've got those for. I then picked up these reusable toaster bags. You get two in the pack. I feel like I've had these before, but I can't remember what they were like. But basically, you put your sandwich in the bag and then put it in the toaster and it makes it toasty and i just thought how hassle free is this instead of having to get the toasty maker out i thought this would be good to try so i picked those up i then picked up some minkies i think i picked up a few of these actually because you guys know i'm a massive massive fan of the brand minky i love all of their cloths i literally swear by them so i got the duster cloth i got my all-time favorite which is the glass and window cloth this cloth is literally elite is absolutely amazing it says new and improved i mean i don't know how they could have improved it so good for cleaning mirrors windows anything chrome i think i'm sure you don't actually even need to use cleaning product i mean i do but i'm sure you can just do it with water because the cloth's that good and um, i definitely recommend that cloth if any of the minky cloths i then picked up this double pack of minky scrubbing pads and i thought this was so cute because you get a little mini one as well a mini one and then a normal sized one I then picked up some Mawam stripes, but my brothers have just been around and demolished them literally five minutes ago. So they have now gone. I did pick up some sweets. I picked up some Doritos, which I'm not going to lie. I thought this was like the sharing bag, but it's not. It's a little bit smaller, but we love Doritos. They're Tom's favourite um, flavour as well. I then got some Lenore in wash scent boosters. Again, in the scent Spring Awakening. There's nothing better, is there, than having like, all of your washing products in the same scent. It makes me feel like really good knowing that I've got all of like my fabric conditioners, my pods, my incense boosts all in the same scent. I know it might sound quite random but I love that. Um, I then picked up some Colgate Max White toothpaste. Oh, what else have I got in here? These are such a throwback. So I got some of these Royster's crisps. These are around me my dad. My dad used to absolutely love these crisps. I think he probably still does actually. Um, and Tommy also really likes them. So I got some of those. I then bought two of these like little storage boxes and the lids are in the box as well. I just thought these would be really good because they're not too big. But I thought these would be ideal to put like my autumn things away or, you know, like some Christmas decorations. I thought the size of them would be perfect for autumn because I don't really have that many autumn decorations. So I thought these would be perfect just to store away in the loft. So I bought both of those. I bought Tom some Oreos because he's obsessed. I got the double cream ones. I got this Fabulosa Shimmering Shower Spray in the scent Passion Fruit. And that's the reason I picked it up because I've never had this scent before. And that smells so good. I just love the Fabulosa products. I feel like they're so good. Um, I got some Terry's Chocolate Orange. I got some coffee. And then I think these are all the same. So I've got three like little jars. They're all wrapped up individually like this. But I've undone one just to show you. Um, and they're like little glass jars with like a cork lid and you get the little spoon with them which I thought would be good and I thought these would be perfect for baking and I thought they'd be really good for like you know like the bicarbonate of soda and your sugar and ingredients like that which are quite small um, containers I thought these would be really good to put in so I actually picked up three of them but I thought they were really cute um, and then what's this it is a Doritos dish in a flavour that I actually don't think I've ever had before. I think it is it nacho cheese or something. Yeah, that's the one. It just, when I saw it, gave me American vibes. You know, like the cheese sauce that they have in Florida. Well, not even in Florida, just in America, I'm guessing. So I got that chai. I thought that would be so good with the Doritos dipped in. Um, and then, last few bits. Obviously, I got some Mr. Duck because who can live without that cleaning product? I got some of it. I never know what these are called, but you know the little toilet toilet rim blockers? Whatever they're called. I've got two pack of those. I got some more of the pink stuff paste, which is what I was telling you about. This stuff is it says the miracle cleaning paste, and it genuinely is the miracle cleaning paste. If you've got anything that like you cannot scrub off, I mean you've probably all heard about this, and if not, you'll have definitely been living under a rock. But this is unreal. If you've got anything that can't come off, scrub it with a tiny bit of this and it will come off straight away. It's unbelievable stuff. And then the last couple of bits that I've got, I just got some washing up liquid. What scent have I got? Pomegranate. 
And then I got some all-purpose descaling tablets for, personally, I'm going to use these for my kettle. I know you can use them for other stuff as well, like your iron and things like that, but I'm desperate needing some of these for my kettle. And that is everything that I picked up from Cherry. Now, like I said before, Cherries have very, very kindly given us all a discount code for you guys. Like I said, I will pop it in the description box down below, but it is Tom and L 25 and it will get you 25% off your first order when you have spent £20 or more. Um, so go check them out. All of the details will be in the description box down below. So it is now a little bit later on and our Asda shop has just been. Now you guys know if you've been watching us for a while that we literally get an Asda shop every single Sunday. I just find it so convenient. I'm one of these people that absolutely despises doing the food shop. So an Asda shop for us, like a delivery, is perfect. The only time of year I'll really go in and do a food shop is Christmas because I feel like at Christmas you need to go in and you need to like scout all the food, see what's about and you want to buy like all the festive stuff, don't you? So I, I like to do it at Christmas but apart from that, the food shop is just one of those jobs that I will never do because why do you need to when Asda can deliver it? Do you know what I mean? So we get an Asda every single week. We've been doing that for quite a while now. Um, like I say, it's just been delivered, so I thought I could show you what we picked up this week. Okay, so starting with drinks, we just stocked up on some cordial. It's got an orange and pineapple and a cherries and berries. Um, I got a big thing of milk just because we like to have like cereal, obviously teas and coffees. I have porridge. So I got a big one. I'm not sure whether that's going to be a little bit too big to be fair, so we'll see. Um, I just got a large pure orange just because Tom has this every single morning and I got some Pepsi Max I've said this before and I'll say it again but with the Pepsi and Coke I'm a massive Coke lover Tom's a massive Pepsi lover so I just kind of switch it up every so often so this week I got Pepsi um I have then just got some bread this is actually a substitute I always get whole meal but they've sent me white which is fine Tommy wants to leave that um, I got some brioche buns just because we like to have the corn, I was going to say corn chicken burgers but they're obviously not chicken if they're corn but we like to have them burgers or sometimes homemade burgers for tea so I got some brioche buns for that. Um, I then picked up these which I'm not going to lie I have just tried these two flavours because these are new I've never seen like the giant snacker jacks in these flavours. I've never actually seen this flavour in general, but oh my god, the punchy black pepper and sea salt, these are unreal, I've just tried one like I've just said, but I thought these would be really nice for lunch with like some Philadelphia and cucumber on, so I picked that flavour up, also I picked up the sour cream and chive, love this flavour in the mini ones, but never seen the big ones, again I've just eaten one of those, and then I also picked up some caramel, a pack of caramel ones as well, crisp. Um, I got some knickknacks because they're Tom's favourite and I got these cheese and onion seabrooks because they're Tom's favourite. However, the other day I actually went to Home Bargains, I think it was, or B&M, I can't really remember. Um, and I picked up some other crisps that I've never tried before. And obviously I've had them since, but oh my god, they are so nice. So they are, I can find the pack, um, the Walker's Bake. Now we've had these loads of times, obviously you can get loads of different flavours in these. But the new flavour is cheese and jalapeno. Honestly, if you love jalapeno, you will absolutely love them. They're more for me, they're not really Tom's cup of tea, but oh my god. I then picked up some fruit, so I got some strawberries, I got some grapes, and I got some pink lady apples. Um, and then just got a couple of packs of these little beds for kids. I tend to have these a lot for my tea. Um, so you just get 10 of them broccoli, carrots, and sugar snap peas. I think they're both the same. I think I, again, I think this is a substitute because I ordered the broccoli um, little corn cobs and something else so that's absolutely fine and um, i got some pepperoni because again if you've watched us a while you'll know that we like to make homemade pizzas on pizza bread so we usually put pepperoni on um, i got some cucumber i just got some unsmoked reduced fat bacon medallions and um, i got some egg mayo because tom loves to have this in a sandwich oh my god right i got these i got these in last week's shop for the first time and i'm absolutely addicted they're so so tasty i know everybody bangs on about the aldi chocolate puddings but these are so much better they're so tasty low in calorie low in fat low in sugar and really high protein i think they're like 103 calories or something and it just tastes like a chocolate pudding it's unreal so i thought for like pudding i could have one of those with some cut up strawberries and then i also got some less fat squirty cream i thought to put on top that'd be like a little mini dessert honestly guys these are unreal run to asda because they're so tasty that is the only flavor they do i think but who knows i might bring some more out i then got some tomato and basil soup because it is the season to eat soup I then got a pack of 12 medium eggs because I eat eggs quite often. I got some grated mozzarella as well for the pizzas. 
I got a bag of this mild and tender mixed baby leaf because I have salad with a lot of my meals. Um, I then got some frozen sweet corn. I've never actually had frozen sweet corn before. I usually just buy the tins, but I thought this would just be better just to keep in the freezer. Um, so I got a bag of that. And then I stocked up on our favourite sausages. So the Richmond chicken sausages, really, really tasty, really high in protein. We very rarely eat normal sausages now. It's only if we have like a breakfast or maybe if I'm doing toad in the hole or something like that. So I got two packs of the chicken ones and then I did get a pack of the normal just because I'm going to do toad in the hole one night this week. Um, I then stocked up on sweet potato fries. We go through these quite a lot. We both absolutely love them. We tend to have these a lot of the time um, as an alternative to chips. And then moving on to frozen bits, I just stocked up with just some quick and easy bits just in case one of us are out or we need something really quick. So I got some chicken, Kiev's for Tom, and then I got some crispy chicken. I like to have this with some veg and some rice or just some veg and some potato or something, so I've got a pack of those. I also saw these, and I've had these before, um, quite a while ago, but they're so tasty. So they're the Good Balanced Meals Penne Pasta Bolognese. Again, they're really low in calories. I think they're about 253 calories, and it's just a really, really nice spag ball. It honestly is so, so good. It's got spinach, tomatoes, whole wheat pasta. So it's just a healthy, quick lunch. Or maybe, again, if I'm just on the go, I'll need something quick one night, then I could have one of those. I picked up one of those, and then... I got some pies because I thought, do you know what? How nice would it be, especially at this time of year when British Bake Off's on on a Tuesday night, to have a pie, some mash, and some veg. I thought that would be so good. So I got some chicken and veg pies. And then I also just stocked up on ice creams because Tom is obsessed with ice creams. I literally get them every week. So I just got some toffee cone. Yeah, that is everything that we picked up in Asda this week. So now I've just got the dreaded task of putting it all away. And relax do you know what we've had such a busy couple of hours since our food shop came my dad obviously came around just before our food shop came put the food shop away and then i had a really quick like clean and tidy around the house i've literally just sat down um, and then Tommy's mum and dad came to see us, which was lovely. So they came around for a cup of tea. So it's been really nice. It's been a really wholesome Sunday. Breakfast, a nice walk. Um, food shop came. We've seen family. We've tidied up. It's been a typical Sunday for us, to be fair, because that is what we usually get up to on a Sunday. Tom's just ran a bath, so I'm going to jump in there. I'm going to put loads of bubbles in it. It's officially autumn. It's our favourite time of the year. Bake Off's on, candles, fluffy slippers, pyjamas. Christmas is on the horizon. I am literally so, so excited. As always, guys, thank you so, so much for watching, and we shall see you in the next one. Bye!